Hello everyone. This is my 19th video on sport diagnosis. Today you will learn another condition. So, adolescent female child came to the OPD with a complaint of obesity and not gaining the height. And this characteristic facial features you can see the child is having the large size of head, almond shape of the eyes, also having the uh, rounded face and full cheeks and nose is also bulbous and upper lip is thin and also angles are downward of the upper lips. Also the child is having the low set ear. When you will draw the line from outer canthus horizontal line you will see the ears are low set. Also here you can see the hyperpigmented present in the nape of neck. This is acanthosis nigricans. Also the child is having small hands and the feet and also the toes are small. So on the basis of these clinical findings, what will be the clinical diagnosis? Here you can see the central obesity. Child is having distended abdomen and having the obesity. Height was also measured child is having the short stature and in growth chart we found that the child is having the weight above the 97th percentile and height is below third percentile so on the basis of all these characteristic clinical finding so on the basis of all these characteristic clinical finding as having the dysmorphic facial features also having small hands and feet also having the obesity and short stature. Clinical diagnosis is Prader-Willi syndrome and it is also confirmed by the genetic testing. In this image you can see the on chromosome 15 child is having the gene deletion. So the diagnosis was Prader-Willi syndrome. In brief about the Prader-Willi syndrome it is also known as genomic imprinting disorder. Lack of expression of paternally inherited imprinted gene on the chromosome 15 is characteristic. Prevalence 1 in 30,000. It is the most common cause of life threatening obesity. Or we can say it is the most common cause of syndromic obesity. There are uh, four phases of prader willi syndrome. Here in brief I will tell you first two or three phases because the fourth phase is present in adulthood. So in first phase during the neonate and the infancy at the time of birth neonate will have the profound hypotonia. Newborn will be lethargic having the weak cry, weak sucking and because of this feeding difficulties will be there and continuously have the failure to thrive because of feeding difficulty. Genital hypoplasia will be there. Hypopigmentation present in 50% cases and this phase persists almost 8 to 11 months of the life. And after first phase, second phase is start after 12 months of the life between 12 to 36 months and during this period, child will have the hyperphysia, obsession with food. It will lead to the central obesity. So characteristically in history part you will find initially child will be not gaining the weight, having the FTT for 6 months to 1 year of the age. And after that slowly child has increased the amount of the food intake and hyperphysia will lead to the obesity. And characteristic clinical features will be present in the second phase having the short stature, distended abdomen, short thick finger and toes, delayed development. Child will have the global developmental delay, delayed puberty, Central type hypogonadotropin hypogonadism will be there. In 5 to 10 percent cases, precocious puberty can also be present. They are also having mental retardation, moderate mental retardation. Behavior problems and psychiatric problems are also there. And because of the obesity, in third phase, which start around the 5 to 7 years of the age, and it will uh, persist in adolescent. And fourth phase start after 30 years of the age during adulthood. So during third phase child will develop the complications of obesity, hypertension, diabetes and hypothyroidism can also be present in third phase. 
with the obesity and short stature so in the management of prader willi syndrome first we have to confirm the diagnosis by molecular genetic testing fluorescent in situ hybridization methylation specific pcr etc differential diagnosis are bardet biddle fragile x syndrome and other syndromes i will also share the case of bardet biddle in this youtube channel and the in treatment part we have to start the growth hormone therapy as early as by the 2 years of the life and the starting should be with the minimum dose then we have to increase the dose up to 1 to 1.5 mg per meter square per day it will increase the height growth velocity and it will decrease the body fat percentage also it will improve the muscle strength and bony mass with this we have to advise the physiotherapy speech language therapy for the delayed language development balanced diet with the regular exercise for the obesity we should also treat the associated diseases example diabetes hypertension hypothyroidism also we should treat the delayed puberty by giving the testosterone to the male child and estrogen to the female child and in our patient patient was on the growth hormone therapy also having the diabetes so also on the treatment for the diabetes by the insulin so this is in brief about the prader willi syndrome thank you so much